live. Hello everyone and welcome to Friday Night Fun Night. It's Brandy here and I am so excited to see all of you. Um, Happy New Year. It's our first live since uh, 2023. Um, it's hard to believe we're already halfway through January. Where does the time go? Um, it just goes so fast. Uh, but it's so nice to see all of you here. If you'd love to love to have you say hi, tell us where you're from. Um, I've seen so many of my friends in here. Hi, Michelle. I hope you enjoyed the Creative 8 retreat. It was so much fun. And, um, you know, I saw you in there in the chat and so forth. So I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, and I saw Miss Sharon, um, Sharon in here and Miss Sandy. Sandy, you've been in my prayers. I've been thinking about you and Cindy. I've seen lots of my team members in here as well. So welcome, ladies. I'm super happy to have you uh, join me here today. So I've got a really fun stamp set. I'm going to use this best day stamp set. It's so, so cute. So that's what we're going to create with today. Um, hi, Rustic Barnes. That's Miss Terry. And hi, Gloria from Iowa. Yeah, I saw... Um, we had some friends from Houghton Lake, Michigan in here. I think it was Miss Gail, Barbara, and my best friend Kelly is in here. She's a Gen X twin. Yeah, she's, she's a twin, and it's so hard to tell those two gals apart. They're so beautiful, and they look identical. So funny, I always put my husband through the test. Okay, is that Kelly or is that Kathy? <laughs> so much fun. So hopefully we'll be able to get together soon. Hi, Betty. Hi, Denise. I hope you're enjoying that wonderful paper I sent you. Um, it is so good to have you in here. Oh, she says, thanks for the happy mail. That was like some serious, serious happy mail. Grandpa Dave picked it up and was like, what do you have in there? It's so heavy. So I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, oh, it is so good. Hello, everyone. So I'm excited to be back. Um, you know, it has been, gosh, it's been a crazy, uh, you know, holiday season, if you will. So much going on and things happening. Um, and of course, people getting sick and, you know, and it's like passing it around and so forth. So my hope is that we start 2023 off healthy and that y'all are doing well. Um, so I've got some really good news for you. Um, we, uh, we've got about three more videos coming with the beginner series. So I have been hard at work. I've gotten your emails and they have just made me so happy to know how much you've enjoyed the beginner series. So I have still got my list and I have started filming for that again. So we're going to launch that here real soon. And then I have a series three coming for you. I'm not going to tell you all the details about it yet. But I'm very excited and I think that you will be too once you hear all about that. So pretty darn cool. And um, yeah, so I think the next beginner series we're going to be talking about like the next video is blending. I think that's where I left off. So I'm very excited to, to jump back into that. Hi, Lori. Lori bought one of my mystery boxes and I know Grandma Jane is in here too. Hi, Grandma Jane. I heard from Kelly today and I think she's placing her gift certificate order um, on Monday. So I'm excited to see what she picks out. Um, but I've got my mystery boxes back up. I think I put together 10 or 12 of them um, and they've got uh, some punches. They've got um, embossing folders. They've got card bases and envelopes and just all kinds of stuff. I think each one has a couple stamp sets. So uh, those are on my retired store. Um, and so there's only like 10 or 15 somewhere in there. Um, so if you're interested in one of those, uh, make sure you go over to brandyscards.com um, and visit my retired store to see those. Hi, Jillian. Oh, I'm so happy to see y'all here. And Randy from Southwest Michigan. We love Southwest Michigan. Hi, Karen and Patty Lombardo. I got to talk to Patty's husband and he is a gem. So sweet. I loved talking to him. So I look forward to talking to you, Miss Patty. And I do want to give a shout out to my friend, Anne and her husband, Bob. So if Bob is watching, hi guys. I'm so happy to have you here with us tonight. Um, I talked to Anne on the phone the other day and she said her and Bob enjoy uh, watching uh, crafting with me. So I really appreciate that. Okay, so let's see, the new catalogs. If you are a customer of Brandy's Cards and you've made a purchase within the last 12 months, you should have received your spring and your celebration catalog. So very cool, very exciting. I can now open this thing up because it's live. Um, so many wonderful things. Uh, spring is probably my most favorite 
um, you know, time for colors and flowers and butterflies. And those of you that know me like, okay, yeah, she likes bright colors and that sort of thing. So now I can, I've got an excuse to bring back Bermuda Bay, old olive. Daffodil Delight <laughs> and some polished pink. <laughs> Those are my favorite. Hi, Polly. I got your beautiful card today. So thank you for sending me that. You are so sweet. I absolutely loved it. And hi, Luann. Oh my gosh, I hope that Darlene loved her goodies. I wish I could have been there with her when she opened up her, her, her goodies. So pretty awesome. Okay, so the spring catalog is live, and if you haven't received your catalog from me, just reach out to me and let me know. Um, they do not ship with tracking, so unless you tell me, I don't know that you haven't gotten it. Um, and if you have placed an order with me within the past 12 months, you were on the list. Um, and then, of course, celebration. Celebration is only two months, okay? So it's January and February, and we are not having a second celebration. I've gotten some emails recently, quite a few actually, about celebration and there's not a second one. Um, but there is some cool things coming that I'm excited to share with you. Now, if you're not sure what celebration is, for every $50 you purchase, you get to pick an item out of the celebration catalog. And there's some really good stuff in here. I can't hardly wait to, to color with some of these owls and things. Um, and then, of course, if you spend $100 before shipping and tax, then you can pick one of those exclusive items. So it's awesome, and I know we all love to celebrate, don't we? So much fun. I'd love to hear what your favorite item is in there. I think mine is the Dandy, um, is it Dandy Designs designer paper? I just think it's phenomenal, and it's like that thick. It's so cool. I love it, love it, and I can't wait. Um, I want to use the little Easter bunny with it. Um, absolutely awesome. Hi, little guys, Mom69. How are you? I hope that you're doing good. You get to finally see your grandson. Well, that's awesome. So I have to tell you, Miss Amanda and her mama, Miss Patty, they are in the car right now on the way to Disney. That's right. They're going to see Mickey. And um, so Amanda's like, please tell everybody I said hi and that I'm going to miss them so much. They are on their way to see Disney, um, to see Mickey Mouse, and they are so, so excited. She just called me a little bit ago and said, okay, good luck, do good, and, and, you know, and I'll send you a shout out when I get there. Um, so I just wanted to let you all know that Miss Amanda is not in here with me tonight. So, so bear with me. I'm going to try to pay, you know, really close attention to comments, but as I'm crafting, I might miss something. So you might have to, if you have a question, you might have to email it to me and you can do that by going to brandyscards.com slash contact. And then you can just send me an email and of course, I'd be happy to get back to you and answer any questions you have. And I must say, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, reach out to me, please. Let me know. I'd love the opportunity to help you earn your business, get you on your way on your crafting journey, um, stamping and card making. It's so much fun. Of course, you can do scrapbooks, too. Um, and I'd love to send you the catalogs complimentary. Um, so just reach out to me, brandyscards.com slash contact. Gosh, try to say all that at once. Okay. So without further ado, I'm excited. I wanna jump in and get crafting with you today. Um, so we're gonna start out with this really cute cat. He is precious and he is in a cupcake. So we're gonna get started with him. Hi, Maria. Yeah, Amanda is in the Magic Kingdom or she's on her way there with her mom and I'm so happy for them. They have been planning this trip for some time and it's finally here. So I couldn't be more happy for her. Um, okay. So here we go, let's get started. So here's the cute little cat on the cupcake, right? So, so cute. Um, and what we're gonna do is I have got some strips here. So, um, you know, I put together, gosh, I can't even remember. Was it last summer? I think it was for a host code gift. I sent uh, my customers um, the, the, the rings of cardstock. And so I have lots of yeah, maybe it's a year and a half ago now, um, or two years, but I have lots of strips of paper left. And so I just wanted to kind of play with these. And so I have Coastal Cabana, I have some Daffodil Delight, and this is Bermuda Bay. I told you I was bringing these colors back. Okay, so I guess they probably never left. Um, my husband's probably shaking his head going, yeah, you never put those colors away. 
Um, I am, I just love these bright colors. So we're gonna basically do all of our stuff right on some basic white cardstock. And um, I've got some, let's see, I've got Coastal Cabana and I have my Bermuda Bay here. So I think we're gonna use our Bermuda Bay ink. So I've got my ink pad and here we go. I'm gonna just set that down. And then I have my stamp. And so what I've done is I've mounted the happy birthday. Now I love to do this where you just stamp in the strip, you know? And so it's, whoa, that could have been bad, huh? We won't turn it over because I'm sure it was not good, um, <laughs> right? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stamp our strips. Hi, Margaret. Thanks for joining me. And hi, Stephanie and Miss Sue. It's so good to see everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. Okay, I hope everybody's staying warm. I haven't seen Patricia yet from, from sunny Florida. It, uh, it was a little chilly here today. Um, but for those of you that have some cold snow, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so here we go. So that is my happy birthday. Super easy, easy peasy. Now what I would recommend is as you're doing this, um, I would recommend just kind of getting an idea on placement, okay? And that's really just for you so that, you, you know, as you're putting these down, you know, you got, can kind of see, okay, visually how you want to put these, to layer these out. And yes, I purposely made them a little bit longer than the paper. I did that on purpose because I find it's easier for me to work with. Um, but if you want them perfect, you can certainly do that. Um, but I plan on cutting them so they finish perfect, okay? Um, so that's how I'm gonna do that. And I kind of already have my pattern, but as you get started, I would definitely, you know, figure out your pattern so you know exactly, you know, what you're wanting to do. Now, one thing that I um, really liked is I kind of like, you know, the different, I like the different textures and things like that. So, you know, if you wanted to, you could certainly emboss some of these pieces. Um, you could stamp on them, you know, as well. Um, you could, you know, and here I actually, what I ended up doing is I left more white in between on purpose. And that was, um, that was by design, um, you know, because I thought that that kind of broke up the pattern just a little bit. So that's what I'm going for. So are you guys ready for this? So we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. And what I did when, I, when I've been practicing and doing this card, I just kind of add the glue right to the paper. Yep, I sure do. And if, you know, if you're on team green glue, then you've got, oh yeah, well, now that I've got it all layered out, okay, yep, I'm gonna take it all off. I already know how I want my design. So, yep, and see, then I got my wiggle room and I can kind of wiggle it into place because I don't have it on the edges or anything like that. I've got it right in the center. So I'm gonna do it again. And this one is going to be Bermuda Bay. So we're gonna bring in our Bermuda Bay. And everything is gonna kinda of hang off this right side and that is on purpose. And so then I'm gonna add more here and just kinda of work my way through. Hi, Barbara. And Loretta, oh, it's so good to have y'all with me. I feel like I have, um, you know, it's just like I've missed all of my friends. It's so good to be here and I'm so grateful. Hi, Susan, that you guys are here with me today. Um, so on this one, I'm actually gonna leave, like I mentioned earlier, about hmm, maybe a quarter inch of a space in there. And so to do that, you know, I'm just going to, you know, kind of, eye it a little bit and then I'm going to add my adhesive right down on my cardstock and kind of come across okay and you know this is actually this basic white piece I think it is well it's actually on the tutorial so I probably shouldn't state what it is without actually looking at my tutorial but I think it is um, four by five and a quarter so I think it's just a quarter a quarter smaller than your um, A2 front card base, okay? So here we go. Oh my goodness, I love this, I love this. So who joined me for the Creative 8 retreat this past, um, was it, it was that, it's last weekend. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. We had a blast and um, 
we just, oh my goodness, lots of laughs, lots of giggles. Our friend Sharon had us giggling away and it was just so much fun. We just had such a good time and Connie made some great boxes and oh, and I just, I loved sharing my little easel card. It was so much fun and I hope that y'all enjoyed it too. We love to, to put on that virtual crafting retreat for y'all. It's so much fun. So thank you for those of you that have joined us. All right, so in my hands, handmade crafts. Hi, Vanita. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Oh, it's so good to see you here. I hope you're doing well. Gertrude, like Grandma Gertie. Hi, Grandma Gertie. Oh my goodness, my husband is, um, you know, he is the man, the tech man, he's in the wings, and he says, Grandma Gertie has said hi, so I can just hear her giggling right now, knowing that we know she's here, so welcome, Grandma. Um, she's probably my biggest fan, and I'm so grateful that she's here. Okay, so I've got my paper snips. We're gonna flip that over and then just use your paper, you know, as your guide and just snip these guys off. Now remember, if you put your glue on the paper first and you get it on that end, well then you're gonna have like glue on your snips and that's probably gonna make you a little cranky with me. So, um, so just be careful of that, okay? Alrighty, so that is a fun, fun look, isn't it? Oh yeah, and so just think about that. You could use, you know, pinks, you could use oranges, you could do some Pacific Point in there for a really bright birthday blue if you wanted to, to make it a little bit, you know, even more masculine, right? Um, so another piece of basic white, that's gonna be our card front, and we're gonna add that right to the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add dimensionals behind this. More often than not, when I have that first layer like this, I will glue it straight down. Um, that's just what I do. There's no right or wrong here, um, but that's generally what I do. But because this is, I don't know, this is real sturdy. I've got, um, I'm using basic white thick and I've layered all of this cardstock on it. I kind of want it to be popped up um, because it is so pretty. Um, it's a beautiful focal point, like, you know, when you look at that. So that, Oh, that's awesome. You know, and you could even like, I even thought about putting like a ribbon through here or I don't know, my wheels are turning and spinning and there's just not enough time in a day. That is the problem. Do y'all agree with me there? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have got Memento Black here and um, hi April, you love this strip background. That makes me so happy. I love it too. And um, I thought I had one here that I was gonna show you with some pinks, but it has eluded me. It will probably show up at some point when you get crafting and doing all of this. It's like, oh my gosh, where did everything go? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stamp your little cute image in Memento Black, and we're gonna do that because we're gonna use our Stampin' Blends, okay? And I've already done that ahead of time just to kind of save time because I really enjoy showing you how I use my Stampin' Blends because my hope is, is that you, um, you know, we'll practice with yours and enjoy them as much as I enjoy them. They're pretty fantastic, really. Um, so I have um, Polished Pink here, Bermuda Bay, Pool Party, Granny Apple Green, some um, Crumb Cake, Smoky Slate, and Daffodil Delight, okay? No, there's not a test. I promise, there's not a test at the end. Um, hi, Susan and Miss Thelma. Oh my gosh, you guys have been on my heart and I almost called you today, but my boys came home early and I had to, I had to run them around. Um, we had pickup games of soccer and all kinds of things. Um, so, but um, I hope that you guys are doing well. I have been thinking about you and so is Miss Amanda. I don't know if you got the message before, but they're in Disney. They're on their way to see Mickey and Minnie. So we're excited for them. Okay, so let's go back here to our cute cat. So I'm gonna show you how I colored this. Um, so I'm gonna take the light marker and um, you know, there's all kinds of different colored cats, right? And so Amanda was like, okay, she has the cutest cat named Baxter and he is absolutely precious, but he is like so curious. He loves water and when she's in the bathtub, he likes to just be very curious and 
he'll almost like try to get into the tub with her. And um, so she, she's like, will you color it like Baxter? So that was what my goal was, was to color it like Baxter. Um, and so he's kind of gray. And as I was kind of doing that, I thought, you know, a lot of times we use, um, a lot of times we use um, the light and the dark, right? For the, for the different colors. But today I thought, you know, what if, you know, there's nothing wrong with mixing these colors. So here, check this out. What if we did this? Yeah, crumb cake, dark crumb cake. And you're like, okay, what are you going to do with that? It's a gray cat. Well, you know, cats have like different colors, don't they? I mean, their fur is like, some can kind of be, you know, calico and, you know, tabby and just different colors. And so I decided that I was not going to be scared and I was going to get in there and I was going to add a bit of crumb cake because I just like to go rogue and I think, you know, you can't mess up. We're crafting and you can't mess it up. So I have my dark, um, my dark smoky slate here as well. And I'm just going to kind of add that in there for just a little bit more, um, you know, color contrast, if you will. All right. So I'm not done yet. Don't worry. I'm not done yet. Um, I'm going to come in with my smoky slate light and I'm just going to soften this just a little bit. And it might, you know, make me kind of work my way around as I soften it a little bit but it looks really beautiful. And um, in the picture, if you have a look at it, um, the colors when they kind of, they settle and the, in, the, in the paper dries, it's so pretty. And it just adds a little bit of something and it kind of brings your cat to life. So I thought that was pretty cool, okay? All right, so you've never tried them. Loretta, is that you've never tried Stampin' Blends? Oh my goodness, well I might have to send you a pair or a set so that you can try them. They're wonderful. I love them. Um, I love them so much. And I have a hard time, you know, whenever like, we do the Creative 8 retreat, I always want to color something. I always want to color something. So this is polished pink, all right? And so I'm not, um, you know, I'm not really, this is not really kind of one of those big open blendy sets, really. I mean, it's, it's kind of, it doesn't lend itself to a whole lot. So I'm just kind of, you know, improvising and, and making it my own. So I have light pool party here. And let me show you kind of how I brought my little cupcake, my paper here to life. So I've got a light pool party. And um, of course, you can color it. You know, I, I recommend you, you experiment and play with it, right? Um, but what I've got is I'm going to color it all with this. Then I'm going to pull in my Bermuda Bay. Yeah, Bermuda Bay. And I'm actually going to go with the, I think it's the light one. Yes, it's the light Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to take the bullet end. More often than night, not, I like the, um, the pointed tip or the brush tip. But I'm going to come on in with my, the bullet end here. And I'm just going to add a little bit to these lines. You see? And what that's going to do is it's going to start to kind of wake up this, uh, this little cupcake here and it's going to start to bring it to life. And then what you can do is you can kind of come up and down on this jagged edge here if you wanted to, you know, just kind of experiment with it a little bit. And then of course, down here below. And so there you go. Now you're like, okay, well, it kind of needs to be blended. Well, sure it does. And so then I'm going to come back in with my light pool party. And I don't really think it needs a whole lot. I don't really need it blended too much more than that because I'm, I'm actually looking for those contrasted lines for that light and dark and to kind of highlight, highlight it right in there. So that is, that is the look I'm going for. So perfect. Can you see it coming to life? Patricia's here. Yay. Oh, and thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that so much. Thank you friends for that. I'm so glad that, um, that you're liking my project and I appreciate the thumbs up greatly. So thanks for that. So I'm adding Daffodil Delight and the Daffodil Delight is gonna go in the little circles. Yep. And I actually kind of liked it with the white too, really, but I wanted to kind of bring it out a little bit more. So then we're gonna add some Daffodil Delight to his little hat. 
Okay, and then of course you can come back in if you want and grab your dark daffodil delight. And you know, again, it's just to kind of get some different depth in there. And of course up here, if you wanted to kind of, you know, put a little up in there um, and you can always just kind of touch it up with that light marker, okay? Then of course we have Granny Apple Green, which is an amazing color. And we're just gonna add it in here. Okay, so I missed his bow. What color should the bow be? Hi, Ellen. Hi, Lori. Thanks guys for joining me today, or joining us. You are amongst some wonderful crafting friends. So grateful to have you here. Um, so I asked you what color. I didn't see it come up in the chat yet. So I just went ahead and touched it up with a bit of um, the polished pink. And of course, you know, you could also add, if you wanted to, you could add a bit of the dark in there. Oh, he's so cute, right? And you know, the other thing that I did is I think I just touched his ear. Just kind of have some little pink ears. And um, you know, Amanda wanted me to make his eyes blue. I tried that, but you can't really see the eyes. So, you know, you could give it a try, but they're, they're kind of hard to see. Okay, so I'm gonna set those aside. And what I ended up doing, and so I'm gonna show you two different ways here. So you could stamp, right? Stamp this right on your little piece of paper here. You're gonna stamp it right on top of that if you wanted to, or you could cut it out, right? And then you would layer it on, you know, layer this piece. Oh, look at that, some birthday candles. You know, layer it on top of here, and then you could add some Stampin' Dimensionals behind him, and he would layer on top. So let me show you the card when it's finished. So there it is when it's finished. Oh my goodness, look at that, I got a sploogie. Ah, look at that. Where did that come from? You know what? I am not worried about that because it's on that bottom layer. So this is how I do it when I have, just be careful, you've got Stampin' Dimensionals and it's holding your project down. This is such a pretty card and I love it so much that I'm just gonna fix it for y'all. What do you think? You see that? Oh, I don't know where that came from but it is not making me happy. So you do want to probably come in here and take off, you know, your kind of, your, your dead Stampin' Dimensionals. Yeah, just kind of, for those of you that have nails, might be easier. For me, you know, I just kind of pull it off. And so then what you're gonna do is I have a piece here. Where did it go? There it is. And I'm just gonna glue this right on top. In theory, because it's for the other card, it should be perfect. And it is perfect. So that's how I fix those little mistakes. Um, I will never ever throw it away. There's always a way to fix a, a boo-boo, right? Um, there's always a way. Um, you just gotta be creative though, right? Sometimes you gotta think about it and, okay, how can I work around it? So there we go. Okay, now it's lovely. So there you go. So just a really fun card. Um, if you like it, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Um, I just think it's precious. I actually embellished it with um, these fabulous iridescent, these are the iridescent gems. Um, and I think they're the pastel iridescent gems. And what I thought were really cool is that, you know, uh, Bermuda Bay is not pastel by any stretch. But when you take these gems and they really kind of take on the color of the cardstock, don't they? And so I just thought that was really, really cool. This one is kind of an iridescent, um, I don't know if it actually has a color, um, but when you put it on that yellow, it really pops that yellow. And it even can kind of take on a pink hue if you put it up in the pinks. Same sort of thing here, you know. So this one, just really, really pretty. So these are actually one of my host code gifts this month, if you haven't seen those. They are in the spring catalog, but sometimes I feel like they're hard to really see how beautiful they are, um, unless you can kind of get a glimpse of them on the camera. Okay, so I do have another card for you that I'm excited to share with you. This one's kind of takes it a different way. You guys know that I love to create, um, you know, lots of different cards with one stamp set. Um, and, and do different designs. So I do have another one for you. And this one, we are gonna go with some Granny Apple Green. 
And what we're gonna do is I have granny apple green and I have um, basic black. It's quite dynamic together, just like that, like wow. And so we've got that. And then I have my little birthday candles, okay? So these are like the little sparklers in the stamp set right here. Let me show you. Those right there, that's what we're gonna use. And so those kind of go on the top, top of the cake topper, but here's what I'm gonna do with that. So um, here we go. Thank you, Kelly. I'm, Shayla says that it's a cute card. Thanks, Shay. Oh my goodness. It's, oh, I wish I could hug you girls. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna just make my way around my little card here. And the cool thing is, is this is just gonna create kind of a fun border. Now, I will say, I tried this both ways. I tried this with the stems. Okay, let me think this through. Yeah, with the stems like this way. I didn't like it as much because I felt like I couldn't control it as well. So that's kind of how, you know, I did it where my stems or my, you know, stems, okay, yep, yeah, we'll just pretend they're flowers, are going that way, okay? So I am gonna clean that off because I am gonna use it again. And I have my simple chamois back here and I just, I don't wanna get talking and then lose my train of thought and then pick it up and put it in my yellow stamp pad. You might see me cry. <laughs> uh, I've definitely done it before. Um, okay, so here we go. I've got basic black and I have just a layer. This is just a basic white layer. So I'm just gonna add that to the top, okay? And of course, you're gonna want, while you're cutting this, you're gonna wanna cut a layer for the inside too. So might as well go ahead, while I have it right here, just go ahead and layer this on the inside. Now remember, when you're using your liquid glue or your liquid adhesive, just little spider web lines. You don't want like big glue gobs, you know, cause then you're gonna get kind of that raised look that you're not gonna be happy with. So just be, um, you know, just be aware of that. Okay, so this piece is gonna go right on top. Can you see where I'm going with this? Oh, I just love it already. Okay, so in this stamp set, there's also this fabulous cake. And I'm gonna show you a couple different things that you can do with that cake. Um, but first off, since we have our Stampin' Blends, we're gonna just go right to using that. So I have my card over here. I like to uh, have it out so I can kind of see it and reference and reference it. Um, so we're gonna pull back in our Stampin' Blends. Yeah, we are. And I just, you know, for ease uh, of creating today, I just stayed with the exact same, um, you know, same Stampin' Blend colors, okay? So here we go. Let's pull this all back in and here we go. So what should we do now? I would say, are you guys ready for this? You're like, okay, yes. So what I've got is polished pink and I just really liked to start with that light color first. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with a light one. I don't mind it with the white space around it, not at all. I think it kind of gives it some fun character. I do, and so I just sort of, I'm very quickly, but trying to stay in the lines, it's kind of hard to do in these lights, um, but that's what I'm trying to do, okay? And then, so down here, I'm just gonna add a bit of color. I'm kind of going down every other one of my little swirls. Um, so yeah, like that. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna start there. Then I have my dark one, my dark polished pink. And what I found is if I kind of highlighted my letters a little bit, it really sort of popped them quite beautifully. Now, if you want, you could certainly come in and try to blend that a little bit. It didn't really bother me too much. I don't know if it should, but it doesn't really bother me. I, I kind of liked it where it just was quite, um, you know, it pops it. I just really like it, but again, if you like up here or something, you're like, okay, well, I would probably blend it. Feel free to do that. You can certainly kind of go back over it a little bit. It's not gonna hurt anything at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to our yellow. And so with the yellow, I thought it would be kind of fun to take the light, um, the light one. And you know, this is kind of, you know, 
it's a little bit harder because you have all your little circles and you know if you want to use some wink of stella or some gems in those little circles um, then you probably want to leave them white and so you just kind of have to work your way around um, but again if we're not getting too serious about having white space then it's probably not a big deal right okay so as you can see there's not a lot of blending here um, but we'll add some in with this so you can see my cake is starting to come to life can't you and so I thought well maybe down here would be some you know some good for the cake and kind of bring it to life and then up here what I did is I actually just traced my letters that's how I got those letters to kind of like pop out of there or glow if you will so there you go so it's just you know then you're going to want to go back in and you know kind of fix that up a little bit more and then I'm going to show you and of course I have a tutorial for you on brandyscards.com so I will show you that here momentarily where you can find that so then what I ended up doing is I went down and I colored with my granny apple green on this portion of the cake all right and then I did gray around the plate now the one thing I do want to show you before I show you the final card is I have my little sparklers and I am going to grab my Daffodil Delight and I am going to stamp off. So I'm gonna move my blends out of the way and pull back in some scrap paper here and I'm gonna stamp it off because I don't, you know, I don't want it like too crazy bright, but I do want it bright. And I'm gonna stamp it right on my thing here. See that, how cool is that? You're like, oh, what is she doing? Yeah, I stamped it right on top. It's so fun. Um, here, so let me show you the final card. Here it comes. So here is the final card. And um, I embellished it with some of the festive pearls. And again, as you can see here, I just needed to color my granny apple green. I did use the light and dark. And if you want to, you could go back in and you could, you could color in those little specks if you wanted to. And uh, that's totally something you could do. Um, I'm so happy that you could catch me live. I'm so glad to have you here. Sadly, I'm able to because you're in school. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome and we're so happy to have you. You are among some amazing crafting friends and I'm so blessed to be here with everybody. So thank you guys for joining me. So I hope you like this card. Um, just really, really fun, really, you know, pretty easy. I feel like these were really easy peasy cards and I, I wanted to show them to you because you can dress them up and change these colors and make it, you know, dynamic in any color or, or you know, combination that you would like. Now I did pop this up with dimensionals and put it on a matte piece before I adhered it to the top of my card, okay? So just to show you that. Okay, so I've got some hearts coming. Thank you, I'm so glad you like it. All right, so I do have one more that, um, well actually before I take you there, let me show you on Brandy's Cards how to find that tutorial, okay? Um, I had talked about that and so I don't wanna forget. Um, so here is, oh look at that, I'm streaming live and I can see myself. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Um, so basically you're going to be on the front of when you come to brandyscards.com. Let's actually, that's what you're going to see. And right now it's the first post right here. So you're going to click on that and you're going to scroll down and here is where you download your PDF. So I have a PDF for the cute kitty cat. Um, and then I've already emailed most, if you're subscribed to Brandy's Cards, you should have received this via email. This one's awesome too. Um, and then of course this one that I just shared with you and, um, and all of the products that I use to create it. So I do have another card to share with you as well. Um, but anyway, so that's how you can find it. Now, let's say you, it's a year from now. So today is what, January 20th of 2023. So say you find my post or any post of mine and you're like, okay, how do I go back and find that? Um, well, there's a couple different ways. You can click on videos and any videos that I've done, you'll see the thumbnails of those cards here and you'll just have to scroll through the pages because they're all there, okay? Um, or you can come up here and you can type in here best day, 
Okay, so that's the name of the stamp set is Best Day. And if you hit enter, any cards I've made with Best Day should come up um, and for you to enjoy. This is where all of my, this is where my website hub is. This is where all of the things, uh, the Stampin' Up! promotions and the things that I share are. Um, so another thing I want to share with you is my retired store. So if you click up here to my sites and you click on my store, here is where you can see some of the retired products. And so my mother-in-law has been helping me add new products to the retired store as I find them. So I'm so grateful for her and her dedication to helping me do that. I'm so grateful um, because I want nothing more than to see these things be used and loved as much as I've loved them. Um, so those items are there and um, the mystery boxes. And then of course the Creative 8 retreat, make sure you mark your calendar if you haven't done so already. I hope that y'all can join us for that. So much fun. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to YouTube so that I can see y'all's comments. Hi, Teresa. I have been thinking about you. So thank you for joining me. I hope you got my email. Hi, Lynette. Okay. So let's do one more card. What do y'all think? One more card. We'll do another quick one for you. Um, so we'll get one more done and, um, and then I think we'll have to say good night, which I don't want to do. I just love being here and it goes by so fast. Okay, so the next one, have you guys seen the new little blending brushes? They are like the coolest, like holy cow. They go from like the big one, right? To like half its size. So it's like the daddy and mommy, like wow. Um, anyway, these are so cool and I really, I actually really think I prefer the small ones because I feel like I can manipulate them or maneuver them a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is I have um, Bermuda Bay here and I also have my polished pink and I'm gonna pull back up my Daffodil Delight. I have my little paper here and what we're gonna do is you're gonna stamp happy birthday, okay, like I did before. You're gonna stamp that and then, well, let me show you this before I get started where I got my inspiration. Hi, Tammy. Oh, you're not late at all. We are so glad to have you with us. Um, all right, and so here in the catalog, and I should have spied the page number. Before, oh, there it is right there, okay. So here, this is where I got my inspiration, right here at the Stampin' Up! catalog. And so they use these blending brushes, so I basically did the exact same thing they did and I loved it, so I'm gonna show it to you. Um, but I changed my card up a little bit and um, kind of made it a little bit different. So I've got polished pink. I honestly like to kind of dab it off because you can kind of get a big blob, right? And I'm gonna just kind of make my way here through the center. Now the darker, you know, the more you, more ink you apply, the darker it's gonna get, right? So if you, you know, if you want it subtle and not so bright, um, you know, sometimes less is more. Sometimes, you know, if you just got to remember that you can always add more, but you can't take it away. Um, so if you just kind of start out light, you can kind of work your way back and forth. Now, more often than not, I kind of usually would blend in a circular position, like circular like that. Um, but in this case, I'm honestly just wanting to apply a bit of color. That's what I'm hoping to do. Um, and so I'm adding some of my yellow, my Daffodil Delight right up in here. Now Stampin' Up, there's kind of, um, if you look at your catalog and it's on page, let me see, 67. Um, they kind of did it, you know, where it kind of was off the cake. You know, I'm good either way, really. You can kind of do it however you would like. And then they came up here and they just kind of swirled around here at the top. And again, if you want it lights and darks, you can just add more ink, um, light, dark, that sort of thing and you know kind of make it to how you like it then what um, what they did is they actually took and um, sponged i stamped a couple extras here and they sponged it again what i noticed with um, bermuda bay and then they just cut out they used their snips and they just cut out the banner so that's what i'm going to do so that i can kind of get you know more of a raised banner in a different color because um, I still wanted that sponge type look, okay? So that's how I did that. Um, and that's gonna go right 
there eventually, but I do like my little, um, you know, my little sparkler things. So we're gonna add those to this card. I am gonna stamp off and then stamp it back on there, okay? And if you like those darker, well, that's fine. Don't stamp it off and you're gonna get a, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of a brighter, brighter image, okay? All right, so next what you can do is you can take these Stampin' Blends if you want to and you can highlight this a little bit further. But before I show you that, I'm gonna just make kind of a card base, yeah. Basic white, we're keeping it simple today. We're doing some simple stamping today. Um, and we're gonna go back in with some Bermuda Bay. Now in this case, you could grab your larger brushes if you want to, but um, you know, the small ones work great and they're right here, so I see no reason not to use them. And so I'm just adding some Bermuda Bay and I'm gonna brush it in a, I'm kind of working my way upward is what I'm doing. And I do, um, I did, um, you know, my original, I like the bottom being a little darker. So if you're like, oh my gosh, she's applying a lot at the bottom. Yeah, I did that on purpose. I did. Not normally. I don't, you know, I'll tell you if I didn't do it on purpose. I own my mistakes. But, you know, and you know what? There are no mistakes in crafting anyway, right? It's just, it's all original, original ideas. Okay. So there we go. So there you go. And so you could do as much of this as you want, but that's Bermuda Bay. So pretty, so, so pretty. And then I'm gonna pull in some polished pink. Hi, Susie Stocks. Thank you for the hearts and for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. I hope that you enjoy these cards. It was a lot of fun. Um, Miss Amanda is on her way to Disney and so I um, I was creating all day today by myself, and it was kind of, it was pretty quiet in here today until my boys got home, of course. Then it, you know, then things get busy, but I wouldn't trade that for the world. Okay, so again, same sort of concept, you know, as dark as you, I'm trying to kind of, I do want it darker on the edges, and you can blend it down into that Bermuda Bay. Just be careful, it can kind of go purple sort of kind of a purpley kind of color because you're blending these two colors together. Um, but the more, you know, the more you go over it, the more ink you add, the darker you're gonna get, okay? So I think that's probably about good. And are you seeing kind of a theme here with my cake? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over because sometimes I feel like you can pick up the ink from that scrap paper if you kind of get some heavy ink on there. Um, and so we're gonna come in now with some Daffodil Delight. And, um, and I think even if you weren't doing this for, um, you know, if you're not doing it for, if you don't have the stamp set, if you have a nice Easter set, I think this would be beautiful for an Easter card, um, you know, for some Easter colors. And so I'm gonna blend my Daffodil Delight I'm actually gonna take it and I'm gonna kind of blend it upward. I want it to be light, okay? So I'm not looking for dark color up at the top, but I definitely want it to be a little bit darker, okay? Not darker, lighter up here, darker in the middle, okay? So there you go. All right, so that is it. That was super easy peasy. Yep, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And so then you can mat this piece if you want. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? See, look at that, purple is your favorite, Lori. Yeah, purple's gorgeous. Um, and so, yeah, look. And so you can layer that up. Um, and if you want to bring that cake to life even more, I would recommend taking it and coloring it with your Stampin' Blends. So I colored, you know, I colored some of the cake. I highlighted my birthday with Bermuda Bay. I added, you know, I kind of, you know, filled in some of my dots and spots and swirls. And then of course I added some fun gems to that. And I think those are those, um, oh, what are those called? Those are the, um, the opals. Yeah, that's what those are. So they just match beautifully and they pick up the color wonderfully. Um, and so that's how I kind of brought that to life. Yeah, so pretty cool, huh? Some spring colors, that's exactly right. Um, and it's just, it's so pretty, and I think it would be wonderful for Easter. 
Um, it would be some great colors for Easter too. Um, so, and of course you could, you know, do some brighter colors if you wanted, the more you blend, you know, you can brighten it up and, but I just, I really liked it um, with that subtle color. Now the tutorial that I have already, I think, emailed was this one. Um, but the other day I actually made the same card in a full, in a full panel here on the front. So I just thought I would share it with you. Um, and these are those iridescent rhinestones. This is actually um, iridescent pastel gems. That's what those are. Um, and this is Eclipso Coral. So this is not polished pink on these. It's actually coral, um, but you can use whatever you would like. You know, it's, it's up to you totally what you like. So here, have a look at these different cards. And you know, we probably could keep going further, but I had to get ready so that I could film for you guys today. So there you go. Here's a bunch of just fun cards and just so many cool things, right? So which one is your favorite, um, <laughs> right? Yes. Oh, thank you so much, little guys, mom69 for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. Um, so yeah, so I just, I can't pick a favorite. I love them all. Um, although I think, oh gosh, I can't pick a favorite. It's between the cat and the cupcake and probably this one, but I really like that one. And I like that one too. So yeah, I don't know, but really fun. And I want it before I go. <laughs> thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. Um, Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you one more cool thing. So if you haven't seen it, so for those of you that placed an order with me last month, um, Stampin' Up! launched this new card kit, and I loved it. So I decided that it was going to be my, um, I was going to make that out for my card this month, and it's the Saying Thanks kit. Now this kit is uh, no stamping. Yeah, there's no stamping. It was, um, it's a $13 kit. You get like nine cards, I think. I was doing the math and I was like, wow, that is amazing. Um, but since we're doing birthday cards, I just wanted to kind of show you something as kind of an additional idea. So this is how this kit comes. Of course, you know, it has the sizes and the, and the dimensions and the directions and all of that. Whoa, hello. It's all right there. Okay. And so it kind of tells you how to put it together. See, it's so nice with those directions and so forth. I love that. Um, so it's got die cuts in here and I like it so much. I loved it. I loved it, loved it. I think this one was probably my favorite, um, but I also loved the hearts and I loved the rainbow as well. Um, so you've got some different languages here because we are in, we are a global company. So that's pretty cool. Um, and so you could pick out the one that you would like. And then of course you have all of your little sayings. This is kind of a template, you know, where you can punch out the hearts. So let me show you the cards. There's some coordinating envelopes, really cool and fun. And then they've got these really neat, um, like iridescent, um, diamonds in here. So just a lot of fun, but let me show you how cute these cards are. And because we're talking about birthday, what I kind of did for my team. So here is the first one. And many of you hopefully are receiving some cards from me and your happy mail. It brings me so much joy and Amanda too. Um, you know, we were talking about it on um, yesterday before she left for Disney about how much we enjoy sending these wonderful packages in the mail. And we hope that they reach you and they just brighten your day um, and are just a happy spot for you. So anyway, that is one of the cards. I love it. And then check this one out. So you did order that one, Maria. It's fantastic. You will love it. You will love it, love it. So this is the thanks. Um, and again, it's just so pretty. You know, it's got, and then there's the little, I put the little diamonds throughout. Can you see the little sparkle there? Um, you know, you could probably put some twine or you could put other gems in here. I just feel like it's so pretty as is that I don't know it needs a whole lot more. Um, but there is another card that comes in this and I like my, I like my stuff on white card bases. So I actually, oh, this is not the right one. Hang tight, hang tight. Here's the one in the kit. Let me show you this one first. So this is the one in the kit. Um, but I actually took the card base and I cut a basic white card base and I basically cut this a quarter of an inch down. 
so that I could mount it on a white card base. I just felt like I liked the way it popped a little bit more, um, but you certainly don't have to. It's beautiful the way it is, but I'm just kind of a sucker for a white card base. Um, but since we're talking about birthday, I took this piece right here and I flipped it over and I found a, th a birthday wishing you, uh, wishes for a beautiful birthday from the Frame Florets stamp set. And I stamped it on the back of this. So check this out. I thought that turned out gorgeous. Look at that. And so here's the, um, the one in the kit. And like I said, I just flipped that over and then I just stamped um, a birthday message. So that's kind of cool. That just kind of gives you more flexibility um, to use that, you know, how you would like. Um, another thing that I did is um, here at Brandy's Cards, we like to put together thinking of you and hope boxes and, and different things and, and card fronts. And so we like to, you know, we like to surprise many of you who share your stories with us um, with wonderful goodies and happy mail, we call it in the mail. So, um, and to let you know that you're loved, right? That's what we do with our cards is when we send our cards and we send joy and hugs and love and encouragement and hope through the mail. So um, I wanted to take these heart, this heart card, and I wanted to do thinking of you. So what I did is I basically found a stamp set that said thinking of you, and I did the thinking of you, or thinking of, and then I did the you in gorgeous grape to complement it. And then I added some extra little um, festive pearls here to the card as well to kind of, you know, enhance the, um, you know, the little diamonds. Now you could add anything you wanted on there. I mean, gosh, look at that. These match fabulously, don't they? So these are gorgeous. I mean, I could probably put gems in every little white spot that there is just because it looks so pretty and it matches so well. Um, but anyway, this is just a really neat kit. And if you have a church ministry or a ministry of some sort, um, or just for your own crafting where you need some thank you notes or maybe some birthday cards that you just want to kind of tweak a little bit. Um, these are, are great to kind of make your own. So anyway, I was excited to show you that. I really have enjoyed, um, I've enjoyed putting that kit together. Hi, Ramona. Well, I think you're pretty awesome too. So thank you for joining me today. And Phoebe, thank you, Phoebe. I'm so glad you liked it. And Miss Beth and Sandy. And Sandy says she appreciates her happy mail. Well, we love you, Miss Sandy. Um, hi, Honey Bee Stamping Hive. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you in here, Hattie. Thank you for stopping in. Um, so I hope everyone's doing well. Let me know if you need anything or you have any questions. Of course, I'm happy to help. Um, and if you didn't get your spring catalog, don't forget to reach out to me. I don't know if you don't tell me. So you have to reach out to me and let me know. Um, but if you did place an order within the last 12 months, you should have one of these fantastic catalogs in the mail to you. Um, so look for that. And then of course, celebration. Um, and before I go, I do want to let you know that if you're looking at Paper Pumpkin, um, this next month's Paper Pumpkin looks absolutely adorable. Now, I haven't actually seen it. I'm looking at the sneak peek pictures just like everybody else. It's a surprise in a box. Um, but they've got some really cute little add-on dies. Now those are while supplies last during the sales period. So if you're interested in those, you need to make sure to get those ordered right away. Um, they do coordinate with that rain or shine suite, which is fantastic. As a matter of fact, um, for the Creative 8 Retreat, um, oh, I wish I had it right here to show you um, the card that I did for the Creative 8 Retreat with the rain or shine. So I'll have to do that on the next live and just kind of show you a sneak peek of that card. Um, but so much fun. So with Paper Pumpkin, if you are interested in trying Paper Pumpkin, now is the time during celebration because if you buy a three month prepaid Paper Pumpkin, you get a free celebration item and a host code gift from me here at Brandy's Cards. So um, just, you know, just think about that. And of course, depending on the package you pick, you might even get host rewards on top of that. So host rewards, celebration items, and a gift from me. Um, and for new Paper Pumpkin subscribers with Brandy's Cards, I have those waves of the ocean, those waves of the ocean gems. Yeah, I've got some extra and they're so pretty. And I decided I'm gonna save those for y'all. And um, we are sending those to our new subscribers. 
Hi, Sharon Wolf. Thanks for popping in. Oh, well, thank you for loving me and supporting my efforts and being a part of Brandy's Cards. I'm so grateful. Um, all right, Miss Arnetta, big hugs, hearts. <laughs> Thinking about you, and I saw that um, you've got some goodies coming your way. And Miss Debbie Wood, I hope that you got that that um, that embossing folder to go through, cranking it through. Yeah, I talked to Miss Debbie yesterday, and I hope that I helped um, get that situated. Sometimes those sandwiches with the big shot and the you know, that specialty plate, sometimes it can be like, you gotta sort of figure it out, right? But never force it, never force it. If it doesn't work, don't force it. No, 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 don't force it. <laughs> you would not be happy with me, um, but I hope that it worked out. Um, hi, Vicki. Oh, it's so good to see everybody in here. Well, thank you all for joining me. I could just, I feel like I'm amongst all of my friends and I could sit and talk to you all day long, but I know my husband's going, okay, <laughs> you've talked an hour. So thank you for being with me. Um, I'm so grateful for your love, support. Um, I'm grateful that you love card making just as much as I do, that you are here joining me today. Most importantly, I, I wanna challenge you to make some cards this weekend and send them. Yeah, send some cards. And if you would like, I would love for you to, when this video is over, put in the comments, hey, I made some cards, Brandy, and I sent them. And if you wanna say I sent them to Sally or, or let me know who you sent them or where you sent them, um, I'll, do, um, I'll do a random you know, picker and pick a couple of you know, Stampin' Up winners and we'll send you a couple of card kits. We'll send these, um, these fun uh, thanks, these saying thanks kits. I think they would make a perfect addition to many of y'all's ministries and um, your, in your cards. So, okay. All right, I am gonna sign off. Thank you for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm grateful for you and I look forward to crafting with you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye now. <laughs>